This is Dow Phoenix, and I'm playing Seven Days to Die. This is the first episode of my Steam Daily series, where I play a game off my Steam list every day. Seven, to day, seventy, seven Days to Die is a game that I've played before, and it's kind of like a mix of Minecraft and, uh, um... Yeah, so, yeah, I'll go ahead and uh, do some game action here. We're just going to do a single-player game. Um, this game is still in development. This is a game that uh, is on the uh, Steam uh, Early Access right now. Okay, and so we'll go ahead and check this game out. Now, I do want you to bear in mind... This game isn't exactly the best performing game, so you might see some frame rate issues. Um, you have to have a pretty powerful computer right now to really get it playing at a steady frame rate. Um, it, well, usually it's going to be steady, but there's a lot of zombies at once, and it's going to be kind of slow. So uh, We're going to play this game for a little while just to see how it goes for us. It's loading the uh, world for us right now. And uh, it kind of looks like a Master Chief helmet in the bottom there, so that's probably more like a chainsaw, right? So I guess it's explaining what we are going to see in the uh, future. And uh, for now, I guess we're stuck with the single world in this game. Um, like I said, it, looks, it's, it is kind of choppy right now, and there appears to be some kind of weird graphical glitch going on over there. Um, never had that happen before. But, uh, whatever. We'll go ahead and check things out here. We'll take the game as it is. SD! Because I hit the wrong button. R! I'm hitting R! Come on! Okay, whatever. Uh, let's see. Abandoned rubbish. Take it. There's some zombies nearby. As you can clearly see... There's a zombie right there, as a matter of fact. Uh, looks like they're aware of my presence. Run away! Running, 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 running. <laughs> yeah, hopefully whenever they, um, as they work on the game, they'll optimize the graphics and shit better, because right now it is in a bit of a rough shape, graphically speaking. So, yeah. Looks like we're at some kind of gas station, and there's a shitload of zombies here. So we'll keep moving. Uh, as you can see, we have a stamina meter down at the bottom left, which demonstrates how far we can run. Then over to the up and right of that is our hunger. To the right of or up and left, rather. Up into the right of that is our health, and in the bottom left is our thirst meter. Now our stamina can only max out based on what our thirst and hunger levels are. So if we don't have, but if we're like low on hunger and thirst, that will affect our stamina. And if it gets too low, then of course we start hurting on health. So, but for now, I want to find kind of a safe spot to hole up. Um, we'll stop running once these zombies are no longer on our ass here. And looks like we're coming up on a farm. Now you spawn in a random location, but this farm's a good starting point because you have a ton of food here at this farm so you get nearly limitless food here so that's always good um, I think we actually go down that way to get to the farmhouse so we'll go down there I guess I'll stop running for a bit so my stamina can recover some so obviously you get to loot various things as you're going through like some rotting trash because everybody loves rotting trash, right? So we can, of course, pick a bunch of corn here. And I'll just knock down some corn stalks, because why not? Works for me. Okay. So it looks like we got a couple of zombies here. If we go into control, we could kind of a uh, stealth mode action here. So looks like they are aware of my presence now. Let's see, there's something here. Oh, it's a fucking 
Red Solo Cup. Thanks, Toby Keith. <laughs> okay. So let's try to run in here and uh, see if we can take refuge inside the house. Hey, was there a fucking dog there? A zombie dog? Holy shit. Okay. So we'll go downstairs and see if there's maybe anything of use down here for us. And hopefully there's not an actual zombie down here too. Or oh, at it. Let's check the gun safe, see if... Oh my god, you're kidding me. I've got to take 30 seconds to search the gun safe? Well, I guess we have to, right? They'll probably start attacking me from behind in a bit, I'm sure. We'll see, though. Come on! Come on, gun safe! Have a gun! Get your guns! Holy shit, there's a ton of guns in here! Okay, so let's bring up our inventory and equip a gun. A good old shotgun will do the trick. That's the perfect way to deal with zombies. Okay. So, these zombies are tearing up this house because they don't know how to operate doors. So, we'll shoot them up. Okay, so I'm gonna open this door and blast you mofs. Come on. Come get it, zombies. Let's see what you got. Let's kill the dog first, because dogs are fast. There we go. A dead dog. Die so that my frame rate can improve, guys. Alright. So, wait. Oh, there's one right next to me. Oh, crap. Okay. Damn, more ammunition to kill zombies with. There we go. I think we've more or less cleared the premises of zombies. Well, I see one there's behind me right now. Okay, so we'll check that out here. He's in the barn. Or no, it's a dog. Hey, he's stuck in the window. Oh, he bit me. Holy crap. That's not good. Uh, let's see here. Oh shit, and I'm affected. I think that's what that symbol means. So it looks like this is not going to be a good run. <laughs> oh man, there's like a whole bunch in the back too. Okay, well let's equip a different gun. I'm running low on shotgun ammo. Uh, let's see, let's go to the hunting rifle now. This will be fine. You guys tore up this freaking place. You have no mind for interior decoration, do you? Freaking assholes. Okay. Well, we're infected, but at least we have uh, guns. So we can do plenty of shooting guns while we're here. Uh, but in the meantime, I'm going to search this place. There's still zombies around, clearly. I really don't know what I'm gonna do about this infection shit, though. There's still a freaking zombie out there. Okay. Let's see what else we've got gun-wise. Uh, let's see. Got another shotgun. Okay. Well, I've got mostly uh, hunting rifle bullets, so I'll stick with the hunting rifle for now. Where? What? You popped up in my face! And now you glitched out! Bastard. Come on. Die. This is not going very well at all. But at least... 
There's still like more out there. This is crazy. I should have turned down the count of zombies or something, but I didn't think there'd be that freaking many here. Yeah, there's, there's still some in the cornfields even. Holy crap. All right. Let's check out this shed here. See what all we can do here. Ah, bad shot. Well, I'm really running, running low on ammunition, so I need to find a uh, melee weapon of some type to really help things along. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, another one in the freaking cornfields. Alright. Well, I guess I can't, I can't get obsessed over that. So we'll go ahead and try to uh, search the other parts of the property here. To see what we find. The loot and everything, I'm not sure if it's a... Uh, Randomized or not, I believe it is. A decomposing backpack? Was it made of, like, you know, biodegradable materials or something? <laughs> That's not usually what backpacks are made of. But okay, game. Oh, you're gonna jump up a fence? Okay. I know, I probably shouldn't go around shooting zombies. It attracts their attention. Holy shit, dog. Crap. Out of ammo! I died! Fantastic! <laughs> well, there goes I. I died. And I'm respawning now, apparently. I don't know if that means I'm starting from scratch, or if my shit will still be there, or what. Let's take a look at the inventory. Yeah, I have nothing right now, and I'm surrounded by zombies, of course. And where am I on the map? Not remotely near that farm. That farm was, like, back this way. So, yeah, I think this gives us a good idea of what to see and expect from Seven Days to Die. Uh, hopefully, as the game gets updated, it'll get better. Um, I had some fun playing with um, a couple people online, but it's just... It's not quite there yet. You know, it really isn't. Um, it's got a lot of work to, to go before it's worth picking up. But... Um, you know, I'll probably check it out again later when it's more up to date. So, till then, uh, this is, of course, the end of the Steam Daily for today, June 27th. And with that, guys, Down Phoenix out.